Hey everyone, I am Natej and today we are going to build a music recommendation app using React and Tailwind CSS where AI plays a key role in suggesting meaningful songs to the users. This project is a fantastic blend of front-end development and AI integration. Let's get started and see how it all comes together. So this is the demo of this small project that we are going to build in this video. You can see over here that there are inputs for selecting the genre, the mood, the time of the day and activity and based on these selected values you can ask the AI to suggest you a song or some music that you can listen based on all of these input values. So for example if I will change some values and then when I will click on recommend then the backend server is going to send a request to the AI's API and then the AI model is going to return us a response with the song which should be most suitable for the settings that we have given over here. Our tech stack for this project includes React as the front-end framework, Tailwind CSS for sleek and responsive styling and on top of that we will be integrating the OpenAI's GPT-4 API that will help in recommending music based on the user's preferences. This combination offers a great way to see how front-end development and AI can work hand in hand. This is Visual Studio Code and the first thing that I will do is to create two folders. One is for our React client and another one is for our Node.js backend server. So let's create client and server folders. First I will set up a new React app by simply seeding into the client folder and then executing the command npx create react app and let's just call it as music app now let's open another terminal to initialize our server so cd into the server folder and then write npm in it with a y flag to initialize a new node application let's first start building our server so i will add a new file in this folder with the name server.js in the server.js file, we are going to expose an endpoint which our React client can hit with the arguments for the inputs to get the response of the recommended song. So first, we need to install some dependencies for our backend server to work. So npm install first is going to be express, then the course for cross-origin resource sharing whitelisting and then the open ai to be able to access and call the open ai's gpt api all right so for our server the first thing that i will do is to import all the required dependencies which are going to be the express and course and open ai so let's do that then we need to initialize a new express app so const app equals to express we will use this app to expose a get endpoint let's also declare a constant for our port number because on this port our backend server is going to be running and let's also use the course middleware so that our react frontend will be able to communicate with our backend server because they are on different origins next we are going to expose a get endpoint by simply calling app dot get and then api and then the name of the endpoint is going to be api music and let's add the callback function so async request and response so in this callback function we have to do a bunch of things first we are going to initialize the open ai's instance then we are going to initialize our prompt that we are going to provide to the gpt model we will also specify the model type that we are going to use and then finally we will use the openai's chat completions api to get the desired response and then we will return that response to our react frontend first let's add the openai's api key that we need to use because without this key we will not be able to access the openai's apis next initialize a new openai instance and that can be done by simply calling new open ai and then providing the api key as an options argument so api key so api key is going to be open ai api key next for the ai model we will be using the 
latest GPT-4 Turbo model which can be specified by using its official name of GPT-4 Turbo Preview. So whatever new GPT-4 Turbo models are going to be available, the latest one is always going to be referred by this name. So I'm just using this specific preview naming convention instead of directly naming based on the date of the release of the model. We will be providing all the inputs in the requests query parameter and the inputs are going to be serialized in the JSON format. So const input JSON equals to request dot query dot inputs. So we will add this inputs query parameter to our request URL that we will use in our react client. Now let's first check if the input JSON is valid only then proceed to call the backend open AI's API. So if input JSON and input JSON dot length. Now it's time to create the prompt that we will be using. So I'm just going to add the prompt directly so that you can see what instructions we are going to give as a system user to the GPT API model. So the prompt is you are an expert in recommending music based on the following inputs. Suggest me a good song to listen and then we are adding the input JSON to this array. So next we need to create the messages array that we will be providing as an argument to the AI model. So this messages array is going to contain only the system prompt because we don't really need the user prompt over here. So we can simply provide the input JSON in the system prompt as well. Next, we need to call the chat completions API. And for that, we can simply create a const with the name completion equals to await open AI dot chat dot completions dot create. And then we have to provide the parameters for the AI model. So this will go into model so model is AI model and then the messages finally we can get the AI response so const AI response equals to completion dot um, hold on choices choices first item and then dot message not messages message and then content you can find out more about this specific object structure by going to the OpenAI's API documentation. Now, when we have the response, then we can simply return it by calling response.json and AI response. Now, if we don't have a valid input JSON, then we can return another response to let the user know that the input is not valid. So response.json let's return an object so message is going to be no input no input provided finally we just need to call app dot listen so that our backend server can listen on the port number that we have specified so listen on port and when it will start listening then it will simply uh, lock the console a helpful message which will indicate on which port it is running. So server running on port, whatever port number we are using. All right, let's format this document and um, let me try to run this backend server to see if it's running or not. So node server, it says server running on port 3001. Okay, now it's time to implement our front end. So let's open up the client folder and then we are going to build our user interface in app component. So I am just going to remove this stuff that we will not need. So at a very basic level, we are going to need the state variables for the, um, for the recommended song, the genre, the mood, time of day, and the activity inputs, and also the loading state. All right, so first let's create the state for recommendation and hold on, let me just copy it. So recommendation and then set, set recommendation. All right, so this is going to be use state with the default value of an empty string. And let's also import use state as well. So import use state from react okay so let's copy and paste 
this line multiple times for different states so genre genre and then set genre let me do that quickly and then we can proceed all right so last state that we will need is the loading state so loading and then set set loading this is going to be um, false initially now it's time to add the inputs that the user will need for their recommended music so for that first i will simply replace this app with tailwind utility classes so because i have already installed tailwind in the background to save you guys some time we can now use tailwind utility classes so i will be adding individual drop down inputs which will be using these state variables so let's first add for the genre these are all the genre options that we will be using let's now add another one for the current mood of the user this one is for the time of the day and then finally the activity that the user is currently doing and you can simply add more items or remove the existing ones from these drop downs based on your specific needs if you ever want to use this project for something more meaningful let's now first run this react app and see if our ui is looking correct or not so i'm just going to call npm and then start so this is how our ui is currently looking now let's add the button for the uh, music recommendation for that i will simply create a div with a button so div and then button the text is going to be recommend and let me add a bunch of tailwind classes to the div and the button so hold on this is for the div and this is for the button let's now add the function to fetch the um, recommendation from ai so const fetch recommendation equals to a new arrow function now in this function before we will start to call our backend servers exposed endpoint first let's set the loading state to true so that we can show a helpful message next i am going to use the fetch api so fetch api and the url is going to be the one on which our backend servers endpoint is exposed so that is going to be http local host with the port 3001 and the api url is api and then music now we have to provide the inputs query parameter so inputs equals to we will be using the encode uri component function to make sure that the json value is url safe so encode uri component and then json dot stringify and we are simply going to stringify all the different state values so genre and then mood and then time of day and then activity let me just press alt plus z to wrap these extra characters to new line so now this fetch is going to return a promise so i'm going to chain a then callback function which is simply going to call response arguments json function and let's chain another dot then and in this dot then we will provide a function which is going to have the data as an argument now this data is going to contain the ai's response so we need to set the response value as the recommendation states value so set recommendation and data dot ai response all right let's also set loading to false let's add a catch callback as well and i'm just going to format this document now it's time to use this fetch recommendation function for the on click event of the recommend button so let's scroll down all the way to the button and i'm just going to add the on click event let's add another div which is going to show either the loading recommendation message or the recommended song so i will add that div in the end there will be a condition over here which will be based on the loading state now let's check if our project is working as intended or not so these are all the default values and i am just going to press the recommend button it says loading recommendation and okay so it says given your preferences i recommend eye of the tiger by survivor let's try to change some values change time of day to night and activity to driving and genre should be classical this time we have got a different music recommendation from ai and that is how you can build your own personalized ai driven music recommendation application this project is a great starter for anyone looking to delve into the integration of AI in web applications. 
I hope this tutorial inspires you to build more interactive and intelligent web solutions. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Your support encourages me to share more projects and tutorials. I am Nitej and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Keep coding and exploring.